Hello everybody and welcome to Special K Plays. I am going to play a game called Orcs Must Die, as you can see. Um, I'm pretty sure if you if you have Steam, you've heard of it. Uh, it's fairly new, I think it came out around October. And it's sort of like a tower defense first person shooter game, or third person shooter game, sorry. And it's a lot of fun. Uh, I've played a couple couple levels just to you know, sort of get the feel for the game, but now I'm going to delete that and start a new one so we can continue making these if you guys like them. Alright, I think I'm going to have to change my settings all over again because it went back. Sounds good. Alright. Alright, let's go. The hallway, level one. Sorry I haven't uploaded in a while, guys. I just have ran out of ideas. Started up with school again. Been applying to jobs. It's been quite hectic moving back in. I've spent 300 years fighting for the Order. I've killed the thousands tearing, of orcs man. and defended dozens of rifts. And this is how it ends. One slip in a kobold's blood and my skull cracks open on the gatehouse steps. No. So now the task of defending this fortress falls to my... apprentice. <laughs> That's it then. What's he mean? Well, obviously that is me, yes. It's all up to me now. Alright. So, basically, the point of this game is to protect this thing, which is called the Rift. If you can see up in the top right-hand corner, we have the number 20 up there. That means that you're allowed 20 orcs to go through the Rift until you lose. And our goal is to keep them away from that by using traps and other sorts of means and the sweet bow to get them out of there and to keep them away from the rift and to save our country and our people, apparently. So, alright. Got the spike trap, which later on it can be used as a snare to hold people or to slow them down. And we have the a little present for you. Slime pit, tar pit. One for you. I can't remember. One for but you. that also slows them down. So let's release the horde. Should probably lay down a couple more of these things. Here they come. Oh, yeah. Also, excuse my bad aim. I'm a console player. So not too experienced with a mouse. Thinking about getting an Xbox controller for the for the computer, but I don't really know how to work those or anything, or even if it's compatible with this game. Yeah, this game you can pick it up on Steam for I think I got mine for fourteen ninety nine, which isn't bad. Wish I would have got it over Christmas break though, I could have saved a lot of money, but can you do? I usually don't like to use the the tar traps or whatever, the slime traps, unless I have arrow walls. Because what I like to do is I like to put an arrow wall and then tar traps right underneath it, so it gives the arrow wall more time to recharge. What? Die. I gotta get back in the habit of uh, commentating live gameplay now. Focusing too much on uh, killing these motherfucking orcs. As you can see, my name is just god awful. That's okay. That's okay. Not gonna worry about it, because 
and have fun. Make interesting content that you guys want to see, right? Hopefully, maybe. That's my goal. So, so far, we just got the floor entirely covered with spike traps, which makes it pretty much impossible for the orcs to penetrate us. That and this is the first level, so it's obviously not going to be too hard. On the third and final wave, let's try to get some combos here going. Headshots for some extra points, but look at that. Got off. Get out of my That's what I like to see. Oh shit, I thought those two were dead. You can't shoot through that uh, little red shield that right in front of the door. And we've won. Let's see what our score is. Got all five skulls. A whopping 27,000. Let's see how that stacks up against the world. I guess there's a time limit on each level too, so you get more points the faster you complete it. Rank 72,220 in the world. Well, it's not the best, but I, I think I think it'll do for the time being. <laughs> so uh, drop a like if you like this video, and add me on Steam. I don't have any Steam friends because I hardly ever play on con or uh, console. Or not console, sorry. <laughs> I really ever play on PC. So, add me on Steam. I'm starting to get into the gaming because of my new laptop I got. So, subscribe, like if you liked it, and I will see you guys later. Thank you very much for watching. Peace.